Welcome to your Mercury HQ dashboard. In this video, we will be taking a detailed look at the dashboard and navigation bar functions. This dashboard is where you will spend most of your time throughout the day. This is where you will see any orders that you have already committed to, and also where you will see any new or existing orders you might need to take action on. The goal of this dashboard is to help you easily track your progress for the day by clearing out all orders that need action and getting today's orders from the incoming field all the way through the funnel through completed. At any given moment, this dashboard will give you a high level overview of your progress. These are all clickable tiles that will provide you with more details. Orders that need action. This is your to-do list. These are orders that your shop needs to take some kind of action on. You will either need to accept or reject incoming orders, view chats on orders that have been sent, approve or deny a request from another florist, such as a price change, a date change, or a cancellation request, or view the responses on orders that you have sent. In the Today's Orders section, this is your outline for today. It will show you all the orders you have set to be delivered. Your goal is to move all the orders from the incoming tile through the funnel and end in the completed tile. At the end of the day, you want all tiles to be at zero except your completed tile. In the Tomorrow's Orders section, you will have a brief look into your future. You can see what orders your shop has already accepted for tomorrow's delivery and you can begin planning accordingly. On the right hand side is the calendar. This is a high level overview of what your orders look like for the week. It will tell you how many orders your shop has accepted as well as how many have already been delivered. The delivery truck icon will turn red if your shop has missed the delivery confirmation for a prior date. If you click on the truck, it will take you to that order or list of orders that are missing the confirmation. Below that is our FTD notification section. This is where you will get information from FTD in the form of general messages and slimcasts. Now we will take a look at the left-hand navigation bar. The first section will always bring you back to your home dashboard. The Create Orders button, when clicked on, will take you to a screen where you can place outgoing orders for your shop. Current Orders is where you will go to see any current orders for your shop. It will tell you if you have orders that need action, today's orders that you have already accepted, any orders for tomorrow, any future orders past tomorrow's delivery, any undelivered orders you may not have sent a confirmation on, and any outgoing orders your shop has placed. To see more details, simply click on the section and the tiles will appear with the orders. If you would like further details on an order, click on the tile and the order will appear on the right hand side. Next, we will move on to the completed orders section. In the completed orders section, you can see the orders that your shop has already completed. You can see if they were delivered orders, outgoing orders that the other florist has completed, canceled orders, rejected orders, and forfeited orders. You can click on the section and a drop down will appear with all the orders. Again, you can click on the tile for the order itself and the order details will populate on the right hand screen. The next item on the left nav bar is the staff management section. This screen is only available if your role is listed as an administrator or a manager. Next, we will take a look at our Mercury settings section. In the Mercury settings section, you can see if your shop is online as well as schedule a future suspension. To schedule a suspension, simply click on the pencil icon and a drop down will appear. You will fill in the start date of your suspension, the start time, the end date, and the end time of your suspension. Make sure to hit the schedule suspension button for your changes to take effect. This section is also where you can list florist partner preferences. You can mark other shops in the FTD network as first choice florist, preferred florist, or do not use florist. To assign a shop to one of these preferences, hit search florist partners. On the right hand side, you will see a search bar where you can type in the shop code of the shop you would like to search. 
Once you have searched for your shop, you will see the shop name up here and you will click on that tile. From there, you can assign the partner preference. Simply click the drop down and choose the choice you would like to make. You will also see the contact information for the shop as well as any notes they may have left for you. Once you are done completing these changes, hit submit. That florist will then populate on the left hand side in the appropriate field you have assigned them to. You can also use our interactive map to see where that shop is. The next button on the navigation bar is our shop settings section. This is another section that is only available for administrators and managers. If you do not see it, your account does not have the proper permissions to access it. FTD also offers a delivery service. By clicking on the delivery service section of the navigation bar, you will be redirected to our delivery service website. From here, you can log in with your credentials, sign up for a new account, learn more about the FTD delivery service, and even watch our introductional video. The last setting on the left-hand navigation bar is our help section. By clicking on the help section, you can see any training videos we have released, submit your feedback, view our terms and conditions, as well as our privacy policy, and check the release notes for any new releases on Mercury HQ. After viewing any of these sections, you should always return to your home dashboard.